Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to show y'all what's in my assisted living business plan template. Uh, specifically, what we're going to do is first and foremost, I am going to give you all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do and why I do it. From that point in time, we are then going to take a look at the Word document portion of my assisted living business plan template. The assisted living business plan template comes with a word document, which has uh, the actual business plan. And then it also comes with a financial model and the financial model is customized for the assisted living industry. And that assisted on um, that Excel file, we will go over in a separate video. All right. So with the foundation set, let's go ahead and zip through this little handy dandy PowerPoint presentation. As promised, a little bit about me. Again, Paul Borowski, MBA, owner of Quality Business Plan. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if y'all do want to avoid all the fun and excitement of writing your own business plan, or if you want to avoid the trials and tribulations of trying to fill out this um, the temple, which is actually pretty straightforward, but some people do have a, a challenge with it, even though I give you all tutorials and stuff, or there's a lot of time constraints where the, the, the um, temple is just not feasible. Regardless, if you all do need some help writing a business plan uh, for your sense of living company, give me a call. Love to do it. I am also a published author on Amazon. Check me out there. I've got several books about business plan writing as well as understanding financial statements. And then finally, I am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert for both business and finance. So if you do need some help with those pesky numbers, the financial projections are kind of giving you a hard time. Again, love to help. Just let me know. All right, infomercial all done. So if you do, when you buy my assisted living business plan, like I said, you're going to get two documents. You're going to get this little word document right here, and I'm going to walk you through. All, you'll walk you all through it, and you're also going to get this handy dandy little um, financial model that is again customized for the uh, the assisted living industry. So when you open the Word document, you're going to see the title page here. Just go ahead and plug in. Just um, you know, you can just erase this right here, and you can put your um, your logo here if you like, or just you know, just get rid of the assisting livid living, and just go ahead and put your business name. But just go ahead and customize the title page however you see fit. The table of contents is actually be the last thing you're going to update. Um, as once you're done completing um, filling out the template, what you're going to do is you can come back here. And you're going to click on the table of contents, click on table of contents, click on update entire table. And once you do that, your um, headers and your page numbers will update accordingly. Next is the executive summary. In the executive summary, everywhere you see yellow, make sure you put your information in there. And so this just goes from the assisted living summary for the company. Talks about the target market, financial highlights, and the funding request. For the financial highlights, the three numbers right here, projected revenues, expenses, and um, net profits, you will find that information on the Excel file. What you'll do is you go to the projections tab, and after you're done filling out everything on the information tab, these numbers, these three numbers right here will update, and these three numbers are correlated with these three numbers. So you see 376,000, 376, 204,000, 204, and then 124,000 lines up with the 124 underneath for the net profits. All right, next section is going to be the company description. Again, I give you a great starting point with the um, company description. Here is a summary for the assisted living facility, services provided, the housing. Again, you can update this information as you see fit. If you're going to provide um, meals and medications, this is a good starting point for you as well. And then here is going to be talking about the amenities and the activities, general information, feel free to update it, that accordingly. Primary target market section, competitive advantages, um, pricing strategy, hours of operation are here, locations right here, talk about your location, and then your business objectives and timeline. A little bit of a snippet of the strategic plan. The business plan is gonna tell the reader what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it. And then your strategic plan tells your business, um, tells your reader um, where you want to go and, and the benchmarks that need to be attained to get there. And so this is a little snippet of the strategic plan in your business plan for you. Next industry analysis, the industry that I um, research is retirement communities in the U.S. And the assisted living facilities is a sub-segment of that um, industry. 
information here. Information was obtained from IBIS World. SWOT analysis gives you a good starting point for your SWOT. And just um, to update your SWOT, you click on it. You click on this little tiny arrow right here. And then right here, you just update that information. Next segment is going to be your organizational structure. If you're going to have a registered nurse, CNAs, housekeeping and cooks. Um, so just update your organizational chart accordingly. And they, again, smart art, you click on the little arrow here, and then you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide the various, um, you know, segments of your organization. This is just talking about the ownership. Again, fill in the yellow. Marketing strategy, based on my experience, for the most part, the assisted living facility, y'all usually do um, advertising in three channels, your traditional, your internet, and your social media. So I give you a starting point for all three of those channels here. Next is going to be your funding request. How much money do you need to get this party started or to expand the party that's already going and fill in that information here. And then finally, we've got your financial projections and your financial projections will be pulled from the financial model right here. And I'll show you this in just a second. So for the financial model, it comes with month one through month three. Well, it's a 12 month profit and loss broken into quarters. Month one to three, quarter one. Month four to six, quarter two. Month seven to nine, quarter three. Month 10 to 12, quarter four. And then finally, you're going to have a um, pro forma net in, um, income statement right here. Now, once you update your Excel file, then you're gonna wanna get rid of these numbers that I've given you here. And what we'll do is, so you'll go through, the next step is to go through, fill out this um, model right here using my template that I, um, the tutorial that I give you. And then you're gonna go to income statement or it would profit and loss statements, whichever ones, you're gonna copy it. Then you're gonna zip on over, you're gonna go to control V, and now you are all set ready to go with your income statement, with your numbers, and then you can you can just update it like this, um, just by grabbing this little box right here. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful, so let's go ahead and wrap it up and sum it up. All right, so in summary, if you do like what you saw here for the assisted living business plan template, uh, just go to my website to purchase the, um, the business plan template here, qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash assisted living business plan template. Um, the template does come with a Word document that we just reviewed, also the fi basic financial model that I showed you all as well. Keep in mind that this is in Microsoft Word as well as Microsoft Excel, so it is not compatible with Google, and this is not compatible with Apple products. Also, if you have some questions before you buy the Assisted Living Business Plan template, feel free to pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Be delighted to have a conversation with you about the Assisted Living Business Plan template. However, after you buy the template, um, there is no free phone support. I would refer you to the various tutorials that I have online, and you can review these tutorials now before you buy anything. Um, check out the tutorials, and you know if you like what you see, fantastic. But after purchase, there is no free phone support. And then finally, if you do want me to write an assisted living business plan for you, you don't want to um, mess around with the template, just uh, check out my pricing page right here or pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Be delighted to help in that regards. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. As always, go out and make a little bit of money and have a great day. Thank you.